Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Cloud Shark webinar series. My name is Joe McCachron, and I'm going to be your host today. And we're going to be talking about packet capture and analysis, specifically in wireless networks, and how tools like Cloud Shark can help with that. Uh, hopefully, you'll leave this webinar with a little better understanding about some of the wireless capture issues, uh, maybe some ideas on things you want to try um, and how to go about that. So I'll get started today. Here's a mug shot of Joe, um, one of the product managers here for Cloud Shark. And the topic of our webinar today, wireless capture, everybody would admit that wireless capture is just a challenging area. Uh, unlike wired captures where you have physical access, the wireless world is, is can be very unruly. It can be hard to get proximity. There's a number of features. And so I just want to acknowledge that from the beginning, this is a challenging problem uh, for many people to really get their hands around how to debug wireless networks. Talked about proximity as being a challenge. Uh, it can also be a challenge to just get the right combination of software and hardware. Um, and just how do you deal with the captures uh, that you're generating? One of the things with packet capture is if you are capturing your 802.11 layer as well, there's just a lot of packets. There's a lot of movement going on. Even if IP there's is limited packets, just the overhead of 802.11 makes your capture files a lot bigger. So it's a lot harder to manage. All right, here's what we're going to get into in today's webinar. We've got three scenarios that we're going to go through. The first one is a more traditional capture on a local system. So that local system has a wireless card, and we're going to show you how to put it into monitor mode. Um, once you have a capture file on that local system, we'll show you how easy it is to bring it into Cloud Shark to do some further analysis on that. We're then going to take things a step further, uh, show you our integration with OpenWRT. It's a great little open source platform. It would allow you to install it on fairly low cost hardware and set up some capture probes for yourself. And we'll show you how this would work with wireless. And once you have those, it's very easy now to get those capture files working with Cloud Shark. And the third scenario we're going to show you today is a commercial offering with Meraki and how you can go and do wireless capture with those devices, send those off to the Meraki cloud, and then how you can work with those now in Cloud Shark. So it's really three building blocks, three different approaches on how you would get proximity, how you get the right software hardware combination, and then how you do the capture management. Okay, so let's get started here. Uh, the very first scenario I'm gonna show you is gonna be right on the Mac that I have here in our conference room. Um, I was gonna show you capture mode on, or monitor mode on Wireshark, but unfortunately I, I was unable to get that working this morning. Um, so we're gonna go with um, a little utility. This is So this is a Mac specific capture approach, but there are similar ways of doing this on other operating systems, whether you're talking Linux or Windows. Um, usually you're going to need some kind of utility. In this case, we're going to use a utility called the airport. And what, the, what that allows you to do is to turn on monitor mode for your capture. So when you talk, talk about wireless captures, there's really two different paths you go down. Either you're capturing on a, on a card that is fully associated or maybe you're capturing on an access point um, that has clients and you're just capturing your actual 802.11 frames and data of a specific channel. So you're capturing a, a specific connection or you're putting the card into what's called monitor mode, which will allow you to look at all the 802.11 frames that are out there. Typically when you're in monitor mode, you're not also associated, although you may be, um, you may be able to do that as well. So I'm going to just turn on monitor mode for my wireless interface here, EN1, and I'm just going to say capture. Or sorry, it's not it's not capture, it's sniff. So this is going to cause my card to go into monitor mode. In fact, if you look way up here in the screen, if you look at where my wireless card is here, it has a little dot it's grayed out and it has a dot, which basically tells me that I'm in monitor mode right now. 
So this is a nice little tool, dumps out a little PCAP file. So you can see over here now on my desktop, that capture file just showed up. I just want to show you how easy it is now to work with those files right in Cloud Chart. So I'm just going to go open up a connection on a Cloud Shark appliance here, and I'm just going to drag that capture file right into Cloud Shark. So once I do that, you'll see that I can now take a look at this wireless capture. How you know that you're likely captured from monitor mode is you'll see, if we take, just take a look at one of these frames here, you'll see that there'll be some type of header and you'll see this is going to vary depending on the hardware software combination that you have mainly a software this is a radio tap header and this is very common but you'll also see um, uh, the prism is another format um, you will see uh, a couple others as well and this can vary um, a little bit about the information so this is information that the driver uh, or the card provides that's not actually part of the packet but it is data that is associated with the packet. And then you'll see down here, just to call you out where I'm, where I'm looking, you'll see here's the beginning of the 802.11 frame, and this is the actual 802.11 information. So this can be a lot. If you look here, we didn't capture for very long, and we have a couple thousand packets. Uh, how do you even begin to look at this? and what exactly are you looking for? Well, that's all gonna depend on the situation you're trying to troubleshoot, but we do have a tool to help you get started called Wireless Networks in CloudShark that lets you just take a view of what are the stations that are transmitting, um, what are the signal strengths, the channels, uh, tells you the security that's used on that SSID as well. So it kind of lets you have a quick survey of like, this is what's going on, uh, with some of the management frames in your 802.11 capture. So it's a useful place to start. Uh, you could then click on any one of these and we will show you the specific packets um, that were related to that SSID. So that's a nice way to start. I'm gonna jump over now to an open WRT system. And if you have no, no experience with this platform, this is an open source router distribution. You can install this on a, a number of different uh, hardware platforms that are pretty pretty low cost and available. So you could easily create your own wireless sniffer by installing OpenWRT on some commercially available hardware. And you could place these around uh, in your network so that you have proximity to things you want to take a look at. There is a CloudShark package for OpenWRT that you can install. I'm not going to go through that uh, process completely, but if you take a look at our support site, just search on OpenWRT, you're going to find right at the top, we have a nice support note on how to do the install and how to capture it. It's, once you've seen what I'm about to do here, you can go back and take a look at this because it's a nice, uh, nice way of getting started. So if I jump back to OpenWRT here, You'll see that I'm gonna look at the Wi-Fi setup and I actually have two logical interfaces set up. There's one, there's one radio here that's a 802.11 BGN radio. I've set up a master mode which, and I've also set up a monitor mode. So this device is acting as an access point and it also is set up to capture in monitor mode as well. So let me show you what that actually looks like. So if, I jump into Cloud Shark. What you'll see is I'm actually connected to this device's web interface. So let's say you had three or four of these devices in your in your network. You'd actually have to go to each one that you wanted to get some capture data from and connect to it, log in um, as the admin, and go to your Cloud Shark page and, and initiate a capture. But the way the Cloud Shark package for OpenWRT works is you would pick your wireless interface. And I want to pick the monitor interface here. So this is a wireless WAN zero. You can give it some criteria about how much traffic you want to capture, whether that's based on time, uh, packets or bytes. You can also use capture filters. So if you are only interested in capturing specific types of packets, you can use that here. I'm just going to start a capture 
um, with everything and let this run for just a few seconds here. Again, similar to the example we just did using the airport utility, um, this would allow you to do something remotely. So you can be remote, just connect into this device and then start a capture. So I'm just gonna stop this now. And what happens with OpenWRT is it'll automatically send that capture file uh, right into CloudShark. You can see here that there's a new capture URL and I can click on that. And I will now see some new capture data. In fact, if you look at that, this header here is also using RadioTap. It's a pretty common um, frame encapsulation for your PCAP data. And if I go into the wireless network tool again, you'll see this is a great way for me to see, you know, what is, what is this particular access point picking up? What is nearby? Kind of a survey of things. Um, it's pretty interesting. I was looking at this um, before we started here. And let's see if it still shows up. And here it is actually, here's the hotel Sheraton, which is our neighbors here. And you can see they have a they have an open uh, network probably with running a captive portal, um, that type of thing for hotel guests. But it's interesting for you to see are all the networks that are nearby to you on this particular access point, if what's going on lets you at least start to understand the wireless landscape for you. Um, so this is a very easy way to turn a low cost uh, access point into a capture tool for you. Uh, with OpenWRT, with our CloudShark package, all that is uh, software you can go and install and try this out for yourself. I'll do one more example here on capturing um, data using a filter. Uh, so I will start a capture here and I'm just going to use IP as the filter. And instead of capturing on the monitoring mode interface, I'm going to go to the actual main interface that should be terminating connections. Since I don't want to get all IP, I just want to get maybe IP that my access point is forwarding. And let me start that capture. And I'm just going to log into another system and initiate some traffic here. And we look at that. And now we're just seeing uh, the IP traffic as well. So that allows you, by adding the, the capture filter, you can go after what you're looking for specifically. And if you don't want to see all the 802.11 management frames, um, that's how you can do it. I'm going to move on now to our Meraki device and show you how to look at capture on another tool here. And Meraki is a cloud managed device. So I've logged into the Meraki dashboard here and I have a access point that's located in our office. I'm just going to select that and you'll see it's similar to OpenWRT where we can go in and they have a packet capture option that's right over here in the interface. You can, <coughs> you can select the packet capture option. And once you do that, you can select the CloudShark option. So you want to stream these right to CloudShark. And you can set up a duration. So I'm just going to set this up to do a capture of maybe five seconds or so, just to give you an idea. Um, just like OpenWRT, you can also use filter expressions. So we'll try that again uh, in just a moment here. And we'll start a capture. And you'll see now that shows you a link um, or we can look at the capture file. Similar to what we were just seeing with OpenWRT and with the airport uh, utility, you'll see the actual PCAP header that we're using now is has a pr prism capture header instead of the radio tap. So this is one of the differences when you're looking at captures that are coming from different places, your software hardware combinations kind of dictate what the PCAP uh, looks like. And in this case, it's slightly different. So some of the information 
um, that is returned for each packet is different as well. But we can still go into our wireless networks and we can take a look at the different networks that are here as well. So let's go and try to do an IP layer filter. So let's say this was an actual situation where I wanted to capture um, HTTP traffic specifically on wireless here. Start a capture here. I'm just going to try to load some web traffic. And what we should see after 30 seconds, our capture should be sent up to CloudShark automatically. Now you see after the 30 seconds, we have a new capture link. So now when we look at the data here in CloudShark, we're, we're no longer seeing all the 802.11 management frames, which can be quite a lot, but we will see the full headers for each packet. So if we look down here in a frame, looking at frame one uh, down here, we have the prism header. Here's the 802.11 layer, um, and here's the actual IP packet. Uh, so you can start to use other wireless or other analysis tools besides just the wireless networks. Uh, you can start to look at uh, things like HTTP requests, uh, things like that it will tell you what is actually going on in that capture. So you can see here I clicked around on a few things while we were doing that. And here are some of the, the HTTP requests uh, that got loaded up here. You can't load too many pages today without lots of sites getting pulled in. So that gives you some information there. Um, you can always then click on these and really start to do your, your packet analysis. I wanted to follow stream on this to take a look at the actual data that's getting sent across your wireless networks. So I'd encourage everyone here to take a look at all these different tools that are available, whether you're doing capture on uh, your local laptop, whether you want to take a look at OpenWRT and set up uh, your own wireless probe that you can do some capture and have proximity, or using a commercial product like Meraki. If you're already using Meraki devices, it's very easy to enable the Cloud Shark capture feature on that. Um, and it's really helpful to improve your proximity to where you need to capture and helpful to have something that has a known uh, software combination that's going to produce uh, the capture for you and make it easy to then manage it right in CloudShark. Uh, we've accumulated a bunch of questions here, so I am going to now take a look um, at some of the questions and see if I can answer some of these. So there's a question on here about how would you capture on a, on a Linux environment? Um, you know, that's really very operating system specific. You have to take a look at what card you have um, available, what driver you're using. But generally, you can use something like uh, Wireshark or even TCP dump. Uh, if you go into your settings, um, so under user interface, you can select capture. Um, you can select your interface here, for example, EN1. And then you would select monitor mode. I'm looking right here, monitor mode, enable that. I tried that initially on this Mac setup and I wasn't able to get that to work. That's why I used the airport utility. But on the Linux environment, you can do a similar thing. Okay, everyone, well, thanks for joining our webinar today. Um, next steps, if you wanna mess around with any of these tools, you can certainly take a look at uh, CloudShark evaluation, let you run CloudShark for 30 days and you can try getting some of these tools working with CloudShark might make your lives a little easier to manage your captures and have a place to build a repository as you're going. All right, I hope we've given you some ideas. And if you want to follow up with us, feel free to contact us at our website, cloudshark.org. Have a great day. Oh, yes, one last thing is we will make a video of this webinar and have that up on our site um, sometime probably next week. Um, so we'll let you know when that's available as well. Take care.